Hello, this is Dave Williamson, and I'm here to talk to you about something very serious. And that serious subject is Hot Wheels Red Lines. That's right, Red Line Hot Wheels. I love them. And I've got a 72 car case right here. I'm going to get it open and see what's inside. I've seen the pictures, but I haven't seen the cars yet. So join me as I open up this case and see what's inside. It's nicely wrapped in 69, 70s, and a 73. Hey, you know you don't get too many 73s anymore or ever. They are not out there. And people that uh, look for them do find them eventually, but... Uh, Man, oh man, they are hard. I had some beautiful ones once upon a time, but I had to sell them because I can't keep everything. And look at all this beautiful packing bubbly wrap. Bubbly wrap. I love bubbly wrap. Oh, I wonder how good this case is. Let's see. I have like six of these cases. I love them. Let's see. This one even smells like the original smell. It's nice. Just needs a little, just a little touch up here and there, a little cleaning, and it'll be really nice. It'll go right in my stack. So here it is. Let's get this puppy open. Ooh, you want me to open it right now? Let's see. Ha ha, ha ha, you can't see. All right, I'm gonna put her down, and we're gonna pull these cards out one at a time. I gotta put my close-up glasses on so I can really see into the camera. Ha 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 ha! All right, I'm getting, I am getting set up here now, getting set up, arranging the camera here. Had to use my other camera because my other camera, and they're not cameras really, they're cell phones, so one of them went dead. Well, this takes me forever to get these things open. Is there a 442 in this collection? You know, I don't think there is, but let's look in here and see what we've got. Let's start with this one, a 1970 ambulance. I'm kind of low on ambulances right now, but I do have a few blue ones. And look at that. Ooh, this is a pretty one. Look at that. She's a beaut. She is a beaut. You know, it's 1970 Hot Wheels tend to be in a lot better shape than their 1968 counterparts. That one's nice. Let's see how this camera does. Does it focus okay? Yeah, it does. These are Galaxy Note 8. Or Galaxy. This one's a Galaxy S7. And Edge. This one is the tow truck in green. And again... A home run with the beautiful mint condition there. She is a beauty. Sold my rare colors today to a fella. And uh, probably regret that someday. A Jackrabbit special. Every collection comes with one. However, this one is in top shape. Look at that. No chips on that blue stripe. You don't see that very often because that chips real easy. This car chips easy. Let's see if I can get that out. Nope. Anyway, just one little chip there on the back, but that's a beauty. Oh, come on. Let's see. Let's get that out of there. All right, you're out. That is a beauty. And the white interior is a little harder than the black interior. What do we got here? Oh, hey. You know, I was looking forward to this one. It's a beautiful yellow mantis. If you like the mantis like I do, yellow is a tough color, especially to get it this clean. Motors aren't very shiny, but that's okay because that yellow is gorgeous. And I love the yellow. You put about six yellow cards together and you will be mesmerized. They are beautiful. Let's see if we can get this one out. It is a red peeping bomb. This one with a little factory flosh going on there. I don't know what that is. Some sort of blackening. Nice bright pipes. You know what's funny about Hot Wheels is, you know, every one of them has its issues. This one looks like it just came out of a blister pack, but has a weird row of black spots right there. Nice chrome pipes, though, and nice shiny base, and good tires. Very, very good tires. Let's just take these dividers out so I can get these cars out a little easier. Here we go, back to 69 with a Shelby Turbine in red. This one with all the decals on it. That's real popular with people. Get all those decals on there. Here's another one, Brabham Repco, this time in purple. That's a beaut. Always love the purple Brabhams. Look, it's even got his name right on the front. That's nicely placed. Very nicely placed. I appreciate that in a collection that the decals are nicely placed. Here's an Indy Eagle. Again, nicely placed. Boom. A little toning on the top here on the front nose, I should say. But look at how nice those decals are. That was one of the things that attracted me to this collection. I didn't pass it on to someone else, which I do at times send collections to friends of mine to deal with. 
And here we go. This one has a purple charger. Holy smokes. It's been purple charger year for me this year. They are very desirable. And I love purple chargers. So there goes another purple charger in the wall. And purple, hot purple custom continental. What? This one's super dark. Super, super dark. Let's take a look for flaws on this because these custom continentals come with all varieties of flaws, even in the package. This one looks good. Super duper dark purple, though. It is dark. Got a double shot purple, Matt. That one is a good one. Double shot purple, custom continental. One of the cars I was looking forward to. Here's another one. Nope, that's not the one. This is a cement mixer in the light green, and she's pretty. She's a pretty one. Cement mixer. Cement mixer. There's a fire engine in here that I was really looking forward to. Here's an aqua dump truck. Aqua dump truck from the heavyweight series. <laughs> Heavy weights. Look at, oh, come on. I don't want to scratch this one because this one didn't have any scratches in the picture. Come on out of there. Come on out, fire engine. Oh, look at that beautiful cab. You can almost see some wear on that edge, but it is nice with the white interior. Look at that. Windows placed properly. The seats are in there correctly. And let's take a look at the back. All four pins are on top there. See those little pins? Those are often missing. Often missing. And the, as well as that ladder is often missing. This is one of the nicest fire engines I've ever seen. Looks like that's going to be a good little upgrade for me or someone. Probably me. I don't know. Let's see what else we've got in here. I wonder if there's a 442 in this collection. Oh, no. The Notorious gray rolls. Who doesn't have a dozen gr notorious gray rolls? I do. I got so many of those. Every collection has a roll, gray rolls, and a white jackrabbit, and a green Mercedes. What? No, not too many green Mercedes in collections, really. The black top on the Mercedes is hard to find, though. If you find one of the black top, those are much more valuable than the plain ones like this. Okay, let's see what's next in here. And the next is the paddy wagon. Paddy wagon typically comes in every collection. When we were kids, everybody wanted the paddy wagon. We still do. Love the paddy wagon and the Red Baron, too, also, and both. Here we got another beautiful, beautiful heavyweight cab in the blue, in the blue. Now, the moving van is not the most popular piece. Moving van... It's not the most popular, but, you know, getting a nice cab is really good. It's good stuff. What's next? Let's look. All right. Red Baron. Is it a good one? Let's see. Red Baron. Hmm. Dull helmet. But no broken wheels. These happen to have broken axles a lot. And good paint. Ah, look at that. You got your iron crosses are on both on there. Got a little rub on there. Not bad. Did I say nair? On nair? On there, on there, yes. I thought on there, it did right there. Look at that one right here. You goddamn well, um, hmm, flower power stick it on there, right there. Mm hmm, yep. This one, you know, this one's pretty crazy right here with the flower power. There's, I hear tell there is a group on Facebook, it's all about collecting the flower power cars. And I've got a friend who collects the, uh, Power pad. Is it power pad or grasshopper? I think it's grasshopper, but he likes he likes those flower power decals. I'm starting to like them myself, especially on that car. It looks really nice. What's this? Oh, we got a oh oh wow, nice dark red Maserati Mistral. Mistral, Mistral, Maserati. That's a beauty. Oh, that one's going in the case. You know that's right. You know that's right. That's got to go in the case. Now, if I just had time to work on my case. Darn it. It's just so popular. Cars are so popular. I get so many and everybody wants to buy some. Oh, my. Look at this. This was the one. This is the one. Look at that brown. That is gorgeous. What do you think would it... Boy, I'd hate to try to take all those decals off. You know... 
One of the things about, I think I'll just have to start a flower power collection because this is a beauty with the flower powers. Look at that. I can totally see why people are into the flower power. Look at that. Very cool. But this brown is a very good beach bum. And um, it would really be a lot nicer without all those decals on it. But I hate to pull them off and find that the paint had faded or there was some sort of goober under there. That would be sad. I might try it. I better research it first. I've tried soaking them off. I tried rubbing them off, but just nothing gets it. Hmm. That's a beautiful beach bomb, though. That is one of the beauties of the collection. I'm going to move this case off here now, off to the side. All right. So we have more room. Let's see what's next. What's next? What's next? We got buttons going everywhere, and we got a light my firebird in the aqua. Very nice shape. Straight front end, chromey. Look at that. Looks really nice. How close can I get? Not that close. Okay. Stop that. Stop monkeying around and just get with it. Let's see. We're going to put the spoilers back here. Hopefully, there'll be a Boss Haas in here, too. I think there's two. And here we got, oh, Ferrari 312. 312. What am I saying? I was just thinking about my phone. It's over there charging. Blue Ferrari. You ever walk around without your phone in your pocket and then you realize, oh my gosh, where's my phone? I need to check for messages. And here it goes. I think my phone is getting ready. This one is getting All right, we're back again. We're doing this in a high fidelity sort of way with high definition color. And so the camera clicked off at 10 minutes. This time we've got a blue evil weevil and it's gorgeous with the number three on the side. Number three on the side, there it is, there it is. Next one up, oh, hey, you know I just sold one of these. And now I just have another one. This one's got a little ding on the top there. It looks like a touch up, but you know, these cars are all from a childhood collection, so there's no touch up here anywhere. But I got another beautiful, I almost didn't sell my last one, so I'll probably hang on to this one, because what the heck, it is super Fine, super fine in turbine land today with the super fine turbine in the super fine turbine line today. All right, next one up is a Porsche. This one, Tiger Spot Porsche. Look at that poor thing. Rose, excellent color to have. This one, Leopard Spotted, Tiger Spotted. So, not as good as it could be. Does look nice though. It is a Porsche. Let's see, I'm going to put that with the Ferrari. Ferrari and the Porsche. And I think there's a pink Maverick in here. And here it is. Pink Maverick. Whoa. Shine, Ola. Shine, shine. Dull on the bottom, but not from touching. It's just age. And a dark hood, but very nice and bright on top. And the spoiler is not broken. So... This is one of those cars that makes the collection worth buying. That one and this one. These are two cars that you can be proud of owning. You look forward to owning and you're proud and happy. I don't know about proud, but happy when you have them. And next one up, this one's nice. If you like 71s, and I do, 71s, this is a beautiful what for. Well, for collecting, that's what for. That is what for from 1971, and she's a sweet model. Hard to collect that one for sure. Aqua being the common color, blue probably next. What do we got here? Oh, here. Look at that. Here we got King Kuda. King Kuda Chrome. King Kuda, not Chrome. King Kuda Blue over Chrome. King Kuda Blue over Chrome. What's that mean? That means that you got your hands on a car. That originally was made for the King Kuda promotion with the chrome. Then they decided, what the heck, let's just go ahead and paint them. And they come out super shiny like this. They're called over chrome models. Over chrome. King Kuda over chrome. That's a good one. That is a good one. One of the cars that makes the collection worthwhile. As opposed to the T for two, which nobody really cares about. Now, if you saw them all perfect, this one's pretty nice, but it's really dark here and here. You can't hardly see it on the video, but in real life, it's very dark. But uh, there are some pretty colors in this, and magenta, you'll never see it, hardly. Blue, 
but uh, you just don't see them bright. Light green looks really good on this. I'd still like a really perfect light green one. I don't think I've seen one in forever. I'd sure like to have one, but there's just certain cars that are very disappointing to collect because they're so hard to get. Now, this collection came with a real nice mongoose and snake set. This one's got a little, oh, very nicely placed stickers. Yeah, that's a nice one. Oop, don't do that. Very nice mongoose. That's going to go in the collection right there. I haven't had a nice mongoose and snake for a while. The snake is much, much harder to get than the mongoose. Let's see how we did on the snake. Here it is. As you can see, the stickers aren't as nice on this one. But they are much harder to get than the mongooses for whatever reason. Snakes and mongooses. Very hard to get your hands on these days. I hope there's a 442 in here, but I don't think there is. Let's see. What do we got here? Mustang Boss Hoss. Mustang Boss Hoss. Yes. Yeah, I just sold one the other day. It's always nice to get another one. Nice to get another one. Ah, uh, that sip of my pop. And brought out another Boss Hoss for number two. One with white interior, one with dark. This one's really choice. Perfect, perfect stripes and numbers on this one. Well, stripes anyway. That number's kind of goofed up. Is it tucked in or is it cut off? I don't know. We'll find out when we look closer in the days to come. Here is the next one up. Heavy Chevy. Heavy Chevy. This is a good representation of what cars looked like when we were kids and we're playing with them and we got our decals on. And we wore a little paint off. Ran them down the track. This one looks like it's ready to race right now. And very bright. In the camera, in real life, it's not that bright. Not really. Camera kind of fakes up everything a little bit. Makes it bright and beautiful. Except for me, when I get in the camera, I don't know. I look the same or worse. I don't know. Look at this. What color is that? Orange? It looks orange. It's an orange. It's very toned. In the day, daylight, under the camera, it looks fairly bright in areas. In real life, it's dark pretty much all over. But it is a decent TNT bird from 1970. What's next? Next is, oh, Flower Power again. This time on the Sand Crab. Now we're up to three models with Flower Power. Flower Power. Right there, we got three models with the Flower Power. I can't see them there. They're too low. Let's go lower. Right there. All right. Let's go. Watch it. Watch it. Put together the collection. Here's one of the good cars in the lot. 73 Snake. 73 Snake. No stickers on the side. I hope I have a decal sheet to go with it because the top stickers are pretty darn nice. A little bit of missing there. Not bad. Let's look underneath. Snake. Yes. Yes. Where is the number that we're looking for? 6969. 6969. Where's that lens at? I think it's over here. Can we see it? Mm-hmm. 6969 snake. That's a 73. Harder to get than the 71. Beautiful condition. Beautiful condition. Love that one. Love, absolutely adore it. Love it. All the match hot wheels. I was gonna say matchbox. Look at this teal colored that's the lighter color of aqua maybe it's just aqua but it's a classic 55 nomad so she's pretty sweet pretty sweet pretty sweet this is going to be a long video because i don't want to go into part four let's just stick with part three and we'll call this one part three and it'll be a 20 plus minute video of hot wheels to look at thanks for joining me Thanks for taking time out of your day or your night to enjoy my videos. Appreciate it. When I go to the conventions, people come up to me and they go, Hey, are you that YouTube guy? And I go, Yeah. I go, Yeah, nice to meet you. I am that YouTube guy. Dave Williamson, toy car collector. Enjoying red lines along with you. Ooh, look at that. Got a little corrosion in there. Got a little corrosion. I met the nicest fellow at the convention with his son. It was so much fun. Met him and my... And he met my wife, too, which my wife came along with me to the convention. First time ever. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm looking over here in the, looking over there in this box. And <laughs> this box is empty. Oh, let me show you. Hang on. 
The box is empty. All I've got is buttons left. You know what I'm going to do with these buttons? So it's, I'm, I've got some uh, coin page holders, and I'm going to put them in there to start a nice complete. I'm trying to sell buttons only by the complete set in the future. Just selling individual buttons is pain in the butt. So it's going to be sets of buttons. So I want to put these together into a set. Now, that there's some of these that are hard to get, like this fire engine. I'm always out of fire engine. So, charger is another hard one. I think that was one of those in here somewhere. I tried to get them all matching, nice condition and whatnot. But uh, anyway, uh, I that's all that's in here. I'm going to have to take all these out, dust this out, clean it up, wash it off, little uh, put this all back together and put it in my stack of collectible cases. I just love these cases. They're so cool, especially when they're fresh and they haven't been used much and they still kind of smell like that original vinyl. I wish I knew who made this and how they made it because I'd sure love to get this remade, wouldn't you? I'd like to have a brand new one of these. Maybe with not so uh, much danger inside here, maybe a nice soft vinyl or something. That would be super sweet. All right, let's go back and take a final look at the collection. So here we are to take a final look at the collection. Before I get started here, if you uh, if you met me at the convention this year or last year, thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome to come up to me at the collection and say, uh, the convention and say hi. I uh, really enjoy that, and my wife got a big kick out of it. There was a lot of nice people, you know, who enjoy my videos at the convention this year, and uh, there was one man and his young son, and they were just so shy. My wife was, you know, I was busy talking to people, and my wife said, oh, that, I think those two over there, those two guys over there want to want to meet you, and I was like, okay, and I walked up to them, and they, boy, they were just so shy. They were from Louisiana, and they were just the nicest guys. And uh, if you're watching this video, hello out there. Hello to Louisiana. And it was nice meeting you at the convention. I hope you can come up to Chicago next year. And if you'd like, come out to California. It's not as much fun, really, as the uh, as the Nationals. People seem to have a lot more fun there because they can come from a lot more different places, typically, than the California convention. Anyway, back to this collection reason I wanted to buy this collection, it was some cars in here that I really liked. Let's go over the whole collection and see what was it that Dave really liked. Well, I really liked the Overchrome King Cuda over here, and I liked that because I just sold mine and uh, did, kind of regretted it. I liked the pink. I wish it had a brighter hood, but that's a nice one. The Purple Charger, I love those, although I do have several of those now. Also, I was really thrilled with this red cab and white interior. Just something about that one. It's really hard. These are mostly always dark, dark, dark. Uh, these two are, are white, so that was a nice feature of this collection. Having the uh, Grand Prix cars with the original decals on it, I always like that. Kind of like to have a whole set of the Grand Prix cars all with decals. Probably a little too much to try. This um, was a good surprise here, this Maserati. It was a nice shape, so that was a good one. I needed a Snake and Mongoose set. I always need those. Don't have any extras of those right now at all. And then the uh, brown beach bomb, of course, is a, always a good one. This one looks like it has spectacular color, and I'm I'm really anxious about these decals. I'd like to take them off and just enjoy the beach bomb as is, but I might just have to leave it like that. Hmm. Look how pretty that is, though. Brown, copper brown. Boy. Ooh. Maybe I'll try a test on another vehicle. I haven't done this in a while. I know they'll come right off of this plastic here, no problem. This model has here and here and here. Could probably do a test on this guy. A little warm water soak, and sometimes those will come off. Hmm. Maybe I'd put some boiling water on there. What would that do? I'll huh, try that. I probably have some beat up ones. Maybe maybe this guy here, but look how pretty she is. Hmm. Well, that's that. Now, the other half of the collection, which we saw in the uh, second part of the video, that turned out, let's look over here, that turned out to have all 16 original cars, so the original 16, Beatnik, Bandit, Barracuda, Camaro, Corvette, Cougar, Eldorado, Firebird, Fleetside, Mustang, Custom T-Bird, Custom Volkswagen, Diora, Ford J-Car, Hod Heap, Python, and Silhouette, plus an extra Ford J-Car and Cougar. And then you got a couple 69s in there. So it was a pretty nice collection. Also had a couple more of the fantasy cars, but we don't really care too much about fantasy cars. Now, I will tell you something about the fantasy cars is that they're nice. They're okay. But if you can find them perfect, they are they are gorgeous. They just don't get the love that they really deserve because who's going to go out and spend $200 a piece to collect fantasy cars? 
And that's kind of what it would take to get perfect ones. So they don't get collected as much as some of these other guys over here in this case, which like the spoilers are super popular. Spoilers are always popular. The Grand Prix cars, the Ferrari and the Porsche are super popular. Those are real good. Boss Hosses, of course, Snake and Mongoose, Nomads, some of the 70s, 71s. There isn't a lot of 71s in here. Let's see, what was there? There was the Evil Weevil. There was the what for? What else? 71. 71. No, this collection was very low on the 71 models, which, uh, oh, no, here's another one here, the T for two. That's a 71. So we have one, two, three models from the 71 model year. Is there anything else? Now, I sometimes get confused. I always think the power pad is a 71 and the grasshopper is a 70, but it's just the opposite way around. This, Grass, the power pads of 70 and the grasshoppers of 71. I hope I got that right. That's just one of those things. You know, you get something stuck in your head and you just can't get it out of there. And uh, it's not knowledge. It's just uh, stuff that's stuck in there. Let's see. And then we've got some of the nice heavyweights in here. So all in all, a very nice collection. And thanks for joining me on my channel, ToyCarCollector.com. Be sure to come to my website, ToyCarCollector.com for cars that you can buy and add to your collection. Matchbox, Hot Wheels, Johnny Lightning, Tomika. Actually, you know, I should do a video about Tomikas because I have Tomikas, but I don't have any for sale, but they are so cool. So anyway, let me wrap it up and close it out, and we will see you on the next video. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye now.